everybody, welcome back to TMI Tuesday. It has been a hot second since I've done one of these, so welcome back to TMI Tuesdays. I hope that you enjoy. If you are new to my channel and you don't know what TMI stands for, TMI is too much information, and what this segment is, is I answer your questions. Be it about me, be it about life, be it about things in general, whatever you want to know, ask me and I will answer. What do you say, Lola? Is it time to start? Ooh, do I get them kisses? Kisses, 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 Good girl. Let's start with our first question. My first question comes from Mariah White. What did I want to be when I grew up? I wanted to be a marine biologist for like a long time until I realized that I don't really like sea animals unless it's a dolphin or like a sea cucumber. So that didn't really work out, but hey, that's all right. <laughs> Danielle Belk asks, have I ever tried any of the Miranda Kerr Cora products? Yes, I've tried the hand lotion and I've also tried, I think it's the eye cream? what have you. Um, I really liked it. I wouldn't purchase it myself because it is way, way, way too expensive. I think it is overpriced for what it is, but I did really like it when I used it. And if you could find it on sale, or I don't really know what the price is in the States or in Canada, but if you could get it for cheaper than Australia, I would say check it out. Emma Lupu is asking, if I could be a superhero, who would I be? Would definitely be Catwoman. And come on, who doesn't love a good latex bodysuit? <laughs> but if I actually got to design a character, which I have already, I would be Super Babe. And if you'd like to see my sketch for my superhero, I actually posted it on my Facebook page, so I'll link that down below for you. Chelsea Akers is asking, would I ever want to further my education in beauty or makeup? I don't actually have any training in beauty or makeup technically, so I wouldn't be furthering my education. I worked for Estee Lauder and I have a bunch of like little courses that I did, but I don't have a diploma or anything along those lines. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't be interested in doing it. I don't like doing other people's makeup. I have absolutely no interest in working in a spa nor being a makeup artist. So yeah, I, I mean, I love doing what I do on myself, but I just really have no interest on doing it on other people. And I, I've done freelance before. It's just... I don't get excited about it, I'm not passionate about it, so it's not something that I would want to do as a career. If I did do any type of makeup course, it would be just for my own benefit for learning for myself. Dan Kaur asks, what's my favorite thing about YouTube? My favorite thing about YouTube has been my favorite thing since day one, and that has been connecting with people. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I started a channel purely to meet people. I was living alone in Vancouver, I was super lonely, and I just wanted to meet people that liked doing similar things. And I have created the most amazing, amazing relationships with people through YouTube. Like, who would have known? Some of my best friends in the entire world I've met online and then became friends with them in person. And even with you guys, reading your comments, responding to the comments, talking to you guys, being able to interact even like right now, having this conversation right now. That's amazing to me. So thank you very much because that is why I started and for you guys to be a part of that is unbelievable. Thomas Beeson asks, what are my favorite things about coming back to Canada? Definitely Tim Hortons, and I mean, any Canadian overseas probably will say something along those lines. For those of you who don't know, Tim Hortons is a coffee shop slash food place in Canada, and it's like, it's like the place to be. It's like a better version of Dunkin' Donuts. Like Dunkin' Donuts is down here, Tim Hortons is like up here. And another thing that I love, love, love to do when I go home to Canada is watch Netflix. For those of you who don't know what Netflix is, it's a website where you watch TV shows and movies. It's just live stream and it's amazing. I, I've still kept my account. I've lived in Australia for two years and unfortunately it's not available in Australia yet, but I have kept my account at home because it's so ridiculously cheap to use. Whenever I go home, I watch like a million trillion movies. If you're in North America or in Europe and you're interested in trying Netflix, use netflix.com slash carissa and you can get a free month, which is pretty darn sweet, especially for the holidays. If you guys are snowed in and you have nothing to do, go check it out. Yona Roetz is asking past and present jobs. My first job was working as a barista at a coffee shop at Silver Star, British Columbia. It is a coffee shop bugaboos and I loved that job and I always have fond memories because that's actually where I met Glenn. So if you would like to hear more about that, we talked about that in the boyfriend tag. I'll link that down below as well. But I think we should probably refilm it because Glenn was really nervous and he's really embarrassed that he was really nervous and so he kind of wants to refilm it. So we'll probably end up refilming that video. But after that, I worked for my dad and I've worked for my family on and off like my entire life pretty much. Uh, my family does a lot to do with labor and concrete and roofing slash insulating and pretty much everything under the sun to do with labor. So I used to do that and I actually have a video of what part of my job entailed. If you guys want to watch it, it's like a really, really old video. So please excuse that, but I'll link that down below as well. 
And then I did, I worked at, like as a checkout chick at a um, fruit and vegetable produce place. It's just a local place in my hometown. And then I worked for Milestones Restaurant. I was a server and I was a hostess and I was a bartender and I was at Expo. If any of you know what an Expo is, it's like the middleman between the kitchen and the outside world. But I did that for a couple years and I worked at retail as a sales girl at Guess. And I also worked as a sales girl at Estee Lauder, which was probably my most recent like sales job. And now I do YouTube. Dana Longhi is asking, how do I feel about Miley Cyrus? I love Miley. I think that she is absolutely hilarious. She's super talented and she has a spotlight on her and good for her. She's doing exactly what she's setting out to do, being controversial to get more media attention. And I think that that is fantastic. There is no difference to what she's doing versus what Lady Gaga did versus what Madonna did. The shock factor, she wants people to talk about her and she is doing the absolute best job at it because that's pretty much all anybody's talking about. So Team Miley, Miley Cyrus is amazing. Tia Eldred asks, if I am doing a tutorial, do I already have the look planned out in my head or do I make it up on the spot? It totally depends on what type of video I'm doing or how I'm feeling that day, I guess. Like for something like a beauty babble, I don't plan it at all. I just gotta sit down and go, okay, what do I have in front of me and what should I film? And I try and think of things that I haven't previously filmed or looks that aren't too similar to what I've already filmed. But other than that, I just kind of just go. And in other videos, I either have inspiration from a photo or I have a set of colors that I want to use. Like for instance, I have over here three of these Chi Chi eyeshadows and I haven't tried them. They're the baked eyeshadows, yeah. And I have three different colors that are just matte colors and I really want to do a video doing this. So I set these aside and it'll be like a first impressions video, something like that. So I might have an idea for what I want, but I don't usually have it like set in stone of what I want to do. And I mean, I've been known to change my mind halfway in a tutorial going, I'm going to change this to this. So yeah, I don't really plan that far ahead, but I do have specific looks sometimes that I want to do. Sherry Malone is asking, what is my guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasures. I really enjoy the TV series, The Only Way It's Essex, and I have no idea why, but something that I enjoy. And what else is a guilty pleasure? I really, 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 really do not like doing my own pedicures, so I'll go and get a pedicure. So that is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. Jamie Lee Scott asks, do I think that Ron Weasley is totally babin' now that he grew up? I think that a lot of the Harry Potter stars are kinda cute now that they grew up, especially Neville Longbottom. Neville, puberty. Caitlin McRae asks, if I had to listen to only one song for the rest of my life, what would it be? Definitely Heaven by Angels and Airwaves. It is probably one of my be all end all favorite songs. I listen to that song actually every single time when I take off in an airplane. I don't really know, it's just a little thing that I do. It's not like superstitious, it's just I like to do it and I really like to like get the timing so that the guitar swells come in just as you take off and I've only done it like once in my life perfectly. So I don't know, that would probably be the song. Brooke Michelle is asking, have I read the Divergent trilogy? I'm about 20 pages in on the first book and I look forward to reading the rest of the series. Rachel Sweetman is asking, am I still doing my own line of eyelashes? Yes, I am. It is taking so much longer than I had originally thought it would, but it is slowly but surely coming into place. I actually have my entire drawer down here full of all my samples and stuff. So you guys will get my first sneak peek of all of my lashes. Check those babies out. But yeah, I am really excited to share it with you guys. As soon as I can, I'll be telling you more about the project and I'll have the website up as soon as possible. I'm hoping to have all the photo shoots and stuff done before Christmas to launch in the next month or two. But man, it takes a lot, a lot of work and a lot, a lot of time to do something like this. So I hope that it's worth the wait for you guys, but I'm really excited to share it with you. Elena Howison is asking, will I ever come back to New Zealand? Yes, I am so excited to be coming back to New Zealand. I don't have a pin down date, but I'm hoping between March and May next year. Um, hopefully I can come sooner, but I don't know, we'll see. A lot of it has to do with my travel restrictions with my visa. So as long as that's all clear, then I am coming for you, New Zealand. I probably will be in Auckland again. I really would like to get down to Christchurch, but I don't really know if that's going to be a possibility. But if there is at all any shred of possibility, I'm so coming down there. So watch out, New Zealand. I will be coming back. That wraps up all the questions for my TMI Tuesday, but I would like to include a sneaky giveaway for all of you who watched to the end of the video. If you would like to win a $100 Amazon gift card, I want you to click the annotation that is right up here, and if you're on a phone, click it down in the top of the info box. 
but click the link. It'll take you to a Turkish airline video for Kobe Bryant and Messi. And what I want you to do is comment letting me know if you could fly anywhere in the world, where would it be? This giveaway will be open for two weeks time and in the next TMI Tuesday, I will let you know who has won the gift card. Don't forget that all of my links and information are always in the info box down there. So check that out, including that free month of Netflix if you are interested. Please leave me a new question for TMI Tuesday in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.